Welcome to this week's Britain's favourite Sunday sermon. And I have to say that it's a pretty stark message this week. Law and order is collapsing in front of our eyes in the United Kingdom. Wherever you look, the position, the picture is stark, it's shocking. We've had the tragic news of the murder of a 14-year-old boy in London with some form of machete, as well as two others injured and two brave police officers also severely injured. It's not a one-off, is it? We're seeing knives being used and waved around on streets in towns and cities all over the country. It wasn't like this five or ten or fifteen years ago. The use of knives, these long knives, these machetes, has grown. Why? Because stop and search has reduced, because the deterrent of sentencing and of justice has just disappeared. So we're seeing much, much more knife crime. We've had in literally in the same week school children in a school in the Midlands being stabbed with a sharp instrument. Again, I just don't recall this 10, 15 years ago. Something terrible is happening to the respect for the rule of law in the United Kingdom. It's truly, truly appalling. On the streets of London and elsewhere, week in, week out, you've got these marches, hate-filled, anti-Semitic, pro-Hamas marches, Hamas being, of course, a terror group, which are being carefully monitored and supervised by the police, but they can't guarantee the safety of demonstrators with an alternative view, so they're saying, please, you can't march. The two-tier policing is, in a sense, a reflection of that collapse of law and order. The police are basically having to semi-give up. Now, there's an important distinction here. What we also saw this week was incredible bravery from our frontline police officers who ran towards danger with the individual that was carrying that machete-type long knife. And they used tasers in order to shock and overwhelm that person. And I applaud that. But there is no bravery, there is no courage amongst the leadership of the Met Police, nor amongst the leadership of the Mayor of London, nor amongst the leadership of the Home Secretary or the Prime Minister. That's why law and order is collapsing, because of a complete failure of a deterrent and a complete failure of leadership. You can only get respect for the rules, for laws and for order if people respect and fear the consequences. And that has just completely and utterly disappeared. I believe that all frontline police officers should be trained in and have the use of tasers as a matter of course. It's basic common sense. We have to give the police the tools to do the job in an increasingly dangerous environment on our streets, in our towns and cities. It's essential. It's not just knife crime, of course. It actually starts everywhere. Even the simple matter of the police carrying out, or border force, carrying out the wishes of their, their seniors, carrying out the law. But now you've got protesters blocking a bus, taking illegal migrants from one location to another in the United Kingdom. They think they can just overrule the police. We've seen it before in Scotland when people were being moved by the police or by border force. And protesters thought they could just overrule the police. This is all part of this complete breakdown of law and order. 
We've seen it, of course, with these ridiculous Extinction Rebellion style demonstrations. Again, just blocking the roads, obstructing highways. No respect or fear for the consequences whatsoever. This only stops when you adopt a proper attitude of zero tolerance. Again, we've seen it with shoplifting, utter impunity from these gangs, these hooded youths, because they don't fear the consequences. So the whole thing breaks down completely. Security staff told not to intervene when shoplifters just clear out whole shelves, whole aisles of goods and just charge out of the shop. Again, some brave shopkeepers try and stop them. But the reality is, those shoplifters, no fear of any form of deterrent. You've got to pick these people up. You've got to detain them. You've got to take them somewhere cold, inhospitable, with no connection to the outside world. And they've got to just basically got to be taken off our streets in serious numbers. So yes, that means we've got to build lots of detention places. This is the only way we're going to turn this round. Create a sense of respect and fear for the consequences. Otherwise, this is heading south fast. And what happens is what I think we're seeing is an acceleration of the decline of law and order. If we don't do this, I promise you, we're going to see more protests trying to overrule the police. The police are being badly led. We're going to see more shoplifting, more knife crime, more children and adults slaughtered by these knives, just with impunity. And then, of course, you've got more drug dealing. You walk the streets and there's just the smell that sort of fumes of drugs everywhere, ever increasing. And this will just increase and accelerate and turbocharge. I tell you, something has to change. Something has to give. Otherwise, truly, this is getting worse and worse. People are leaving big towns, big cities, because of the fear of the danger. People are leaving the country because of the collapse of law and order. The reality is, not only does Britain need reform in so many ways, but our law and order needs reform, urgent reform, before it's too late. And with that, here endeth this week's Sunday Sermon.